With the launch of Assassin's Creed Origins, you'll soon be setting out into the vast open world of Egypt to discover the story of the founding of the Assassin Brotherhood. And you'll probably get into some fights along the way. We asked combat gurus Ash Ismail and Jean Gaidon to give us some tips on how to cut your teeth in combat, level up your skills, and make your Bayek your own. What do you feel like is a good place to start for someone who's really just getting a weapon in their hands? So the place to start, it's, you know, it's the classic sword, sickle sword or the regular sword. Just to get your bearings, you know, it's, it's got decent speed, decent length, decent damage. And then once you start learning the intricacies of, you know, attacking, dodging, uh, defending with your shield, using bow, switching into bow, then is when you can start figuring out what kind of play, are, are you a fast person? Are you someone who wants to use heavy weapons that are much slower but do a lot of damage? And of course, can't forget to use that overpower ability once your adrenaline meter is charged. Absolutely. You know, that's the fun part of the combat system is once you mix in the weapons, the abilities, uh, you can get some really unique moments, some, some really awesome, you know, powerful moments that can really feel like you're starting to master the game. Another gladiator or the grave. What's a good way to to really get Bayek's levels progress going. The ability for you to, uh, to express yourself and to develop Bayek as a character are numerous. You can uh, uh, do quests, obviously, uh, and if you're really focused on leveling up, well, I would uh, recommend to, uh, to attack some bandit camps, to some military camps, but also to explore the world, because some ability points were, will, uh, will, are also given you know, through uh, pure exploration. So, the ways to, to level up and to gain abilities uh, are, are really uh, varied. What are some of the early skills that you think are going to be attractive to players? Uh, definitely upgrading the bows. Uh, the bows are, can be really powerful um, and they can allow you to open up uh, opportunities w within combat or within stealth. So the, the, the bows are really, we see it as like a good hybrid between those two play styles. Once you've got the combat basics down and are starting to make a name for yourself out there, don't get cocky. Tougher challenges await you, and you'll need tougher gear to handle them. When you're looking to build your weapon arsenal, what are some of the best ways to either improve your weapons or to find new ones? You know, we wanted that people can actually hold on to weapons they really love. So we give the option to be able to upgrade your weapon. So you can go to a blacksmith. Uh, you have to pay them, of course, with, with drachmas, with some resources to be able to upgrade. When you upgrade, it effectively brings it to your level. I, I like looking for new weapons. The most efficient way to do that is it's really to go after military transports or uh, military camps. Some of the bosses in the world, uh, let's say the Gladiator Arenas, you can find some really great stuff there as a reward of competing in the arena. You know, at some point in the narrative, as you progress through, uh, you also have these bounty hunters that come after you. These guys are not necessarily just regular guards patrolling, they're actively hunting by it. And so these are really amazing boss fights. Uh, if you catch up to them, you know, they, they, they're guaranteeing you that they'll drop amazing loot. So there's a reason why you want to take them out, but they're a challenge. Assassin's Creed Origins is out on October 27th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. To learn more about the game, check out the other videos on our channel and visit us at the UbiBlog.